beautiful glitter balls. Strictly Come Dancing has become a global phenomenon with over 350 series and thousands of episodes all across the world. Today we're heading to Austria, the home of Mozart, beautiful mountains, and of course, the Schnitzel. Dancing Stars Austria is currently on its 14th series, having started back in 2005. It is the most popular entertainment show in the country. Today, I am meeting Miriam Wechselbraun, who has presented the show from the very beginning. Miriam currently lives in London and travels between the UK and Vienna every week for the show. Hello, Miriam. Hi, hello. So lovely to meet you. So how has the show changed over the years? Well, I think we are a bit more brave now. And now when contestants come into the show, I think they are all very excited to not only learn dancing, they're all very excited to go on a journey really with us. You've seen many celebrities on your dance floor, but who stood out the most over the years? There have been so many. For me, it was always the underdogs. In the current season, we have Bernhard Kohl, a former cyclist on, and he's not the best dancer for sure, but he tries really hard, and people, I think, really appreciate that. Tell me about your judges. So we've got three judges. We've got Maria, she's a former pro. She won Dancing Stars as well, so she knows what it's all about. She knows it from both sides. She has a very good eye for detail. She's completely professional, but she always ends up on a positive note. Then you have Karina Sarkisova. She's a former prima ballerina, choreographer. And yeah, she's very much about the attitude. And you know, if just one hand is like that, she doesn't take that, you know, she's Ooh. a ballerina. Everything needs to be in place, you know Perfection. that. Perfection. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Then we've got Balaj, who was a pro and he stayed with us as a judge. He's uh, the harshest of all of them. He is probably um, easy to compare with Craig. He's my sparring partner. Mm. He even got married in our show, Dancing no. Stars, The Wedding. Yeah, and he married Elise, who was a former pro as well um, on the show. Is there anyone else who actually won the hearts of the nation? Well, generally, you know, Austria is a, it's a skiing country. So when we have um, skiers on the show, it's pretty likely they're going to win the season. So this year, anyone could win because we don't have a skier on the show. <laughs> Was there any performance that actually stayed in your heart for a long time? I think it's always about the situation you're in at that very moment. In this season, we had one performance of Yasmin Ocean. She's a former world pool champion and you know, she never had a life outside sports. Yeah. And now she's competing at this show and she performed to This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. And it, it kind of felt, maybe I'm going too far, but it kind of felt like she accepted who she is now in that very moment, even after the sports, you know. It was such a beauty to watch her and Florian Gscheider, her pro dancing that song. Very, very moving, yeah. I think also dancing is a really good therapy as well and actually it allows you to just let go. When you not just learn a choreography. Exactly. When you actually, you know, touch the people with your performance. And you that's are ultimately the, what yeah. you want to do. Um, and I've seen so many performances over the last 16 years, but this one was a special moment. This is me. Thank you so much, Miriam. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. How would you say keep dancing in German? Uh, Tanz weiter. Tanz weiter, okay, so Tanz weiter! <laughs> <laughs>